If your AC or HVAC company came to you and said, hey, we need to install a hard start or a compressor saver unit, but they said, don't worry, it's actually gonna prolong your AC life for about five years. And you're like, yay. But then they bring out the invoice and show you it's gonna be about $377 to do. And you're like, no. Don't worry, friends, I've got you covered. Today, I'm gonna show you how to install your very own hard start slash compressor saver kit. And for a bonus, I'm gonna walk you through how to easily change your run start capacitor. And all of this for 75 to 100 US dollars. If that sounds great to you, let's head on out to the AC unit. Okay, I've made it out to the AC compressor unit. That's your outside unit. And that's where we will be installing the hard start and your AC run start capacitor. So first things first though is safety. We always need to make sure that power is isolated from the circuit before we work on anything, especially high voltage like your AC compressor unit carries. So for mine, I've got a handy fuse box on the wall right here and I can pull that fuse. Yours may be in your circuit panel itself. So just be sure that you know where to isolate power to your unit. Now for mine, I'll just open the cover. I can simply pull out the fuse. I'll place it right there so I know where it's at at the end. Okay, I've closed the box just so we have no exposed circuitry. Now the next step is to remove the cover panel and expose your capacitor and start relay. Now every air conditioner will be slightly different. Just look for where your electrical runs in. That will be where you'll locate your capacitor and relay. So we'll go ahead and take off these four screws that hold on the cover and get started. And folks, if you've made it this far in the video, hit that subscribe button down below. It really does something to the algorithm. It lets these videos push out to so many more people and I truly appreciate it. With that said, let's get back into it. So I've got my FLIR non-contact voltage tester here. There are plenty of different models. You could also pick up the Fluke here. Both of them work just fine. I'll throw links to everything I use in this video, including the hard start kit and capacitor in the description below, so please check those out. And if you don't know what the non-contact voltage tester does, basically you bring it towards any power source. Depending on which model you have, it will flash red or green, it will vibrate, it will alert you in some manner that you still have AC or any kind of voltage present. So I can move mine around. Nothing is vibrating, it's staying on steady. So we're safe, we have effectively removed power from the circuit. As you can see, that is my AC run start capacitor right there. As attached to it is the relay right here. Now we're gonna be installing our hard start unit right about in here. And then we're gonna be connecting it to the capacitor. And as promised, I'm gonna show you how to change this out though. Now, if your capacitor is good, then you don't need to change that out. But mine is slightly low in tolerance. So I'm gonna change mine out. Now I find it a great idea to take pictures of everything before I start. That way, no matter what, I remember where everything goes. So I'll snap a few photos here on my phone. I like to get a couple different angles and that way you don't have to remember which wire goes where you have pictures. Okay, the next step is going to be to remove my capacitor. And I find it easier to remove the capacitor before replacing the wires. This way you can get the new capacitor next to the old one and just quickly swap over the wires one for one onto the same contacts. So I've grabbed my new run capacitor right here. It's a Titan Pro, I found this on Amazon. I'll throw the link to this along with everything else again in the video down in the description. So I'm gonna place them side by side. That way they're easy to swap the wires over now you're gonna find that these capacitors are generally the same. You're gonna have a fan, a herm, and a C contact. Now the fan usually has one contact, the herm's gonna have three, and the C will have four. That's just the way they're set up. So we'll start with our yellow wire on mine. Now your wire colors may be completely different, so don't follow along with my exact wire col colors. Just match your old to the new, no problem. So we'll remove the yellow herm. We'll place that on the new herm. My fan wire is brown, so we'll remove that. Now you'll also wanna make sure that your terminals right here are fairly tight. 
and they make a good connection onto your capacitor. If not, they could become loose and arc and cause high resistance. That could cause a fire or poor capacitance. And then of course my red and purple will be on my C. Okay, and just like that folks, the capacitor is changed out. This is my new one now. It's as easy as that. Just do that one for one swap. That way you don't get anything mixed up. For now, I'm gonna leave my capacitor just sitting there because we're gonna need to add more wires from the hard start kit. And folks, to keep this video short, just watch this video right here. I explain how to test your capacitor to see if it's still working. Okay, folks, it's time to install the 521 compressor saver. Now this one does come with some pretty good instructions. If yours doesn't come with instructions, it's probably very similar to this one, but make sure you uh, refer to your manufacturer instructions on how to hook yours up. They might be slightly different, especially with wire colors. They also give you a handy instruction manual with the 521. I'll throw a link to this down in the description below. Make sure you check that out. All right, now hopefully you can see all that. Um, this is essentially what the hard start kit is. It's got three wires right here only, so pretty easy to hook up. Now this is like a super capacitor here. It's got a resistor built in. This is designed to basically double your starting efficiency. It's going to save all this, save your compressor motor, and it, it basically lets it start up much easier at about half the duty cycle. Now I'm gonna wire this into here somewhere, and then the wires are gonna plug in to our new capacitor right here or your old existing one if that is what you decided to do and then into the relay right here. Okay, and the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and wire it on. Now my red wire goes right onto the C terminal. That's the one that has the four prongs. So I'll plug that in there and then I'll plug my striped wire into the other prong on the Herm. I still have one free prong on the Herm, but that's not used. Now the black common wire on my kit is going to go to an open terminal over on my existing relay on the common side. So black with black over here. Okay, folks, and just like that, we are wired in. Now all we have to do is mount this sucker to here and then close it up. So the next thing I'm gonna do is mount my uh, capacitor right here back into its mount so it's not hanging this out of the way. Okay, now that we've got our capacitor mounted back into the unit, make sure it's pretty snug. We don't want that vibrating around. We'll double check our wires here. Make sure everything's good, not po pulled. Okay, now that we've double checked our wiring, everything's good. The only thing left is to just go ahead and mount the hard start kit. Okay, once you find a suitable spot to mount your hard start kit, every air conditioning is slightly different, so yours may be in a different location. I found a blank area here I can mount mine to. Now, every kit may be different as well. Mine comes with a mounting strap, and I have to drill a pilot hole to screw in my unit that way. Now you wanna be super careful when you start drilling into this that you're not drilling through and drilling into any wiring or any other components inside your compressor unit. So be very careful, you don't wanna damage anything in there. Very expensive if you do. And now that we've got our pilot hole drill, we can mount our electrical box here. Okay, and we've safely placed our electrical box part of the hard start kit up underneath this overhang. It's protected from everything and is far enough away from everything else where it's not putting any pressure on any wiring or causing any arcing. Now our hard start capacitor side comes with a strap with a mounting hole. Again, yours may be different. Just follow the instructions that yours came with. Now go ahead and drill my second pilot hole. Again, making sure there's nothing behind this on the other side. And I'll go ahead and mount my hard start capacitor out of the way over here using the screw that they provided. Again, yours may be completely different than this. Okay, folks, as you can see, we've mounted our hard start electrical box there along with the hard start capacitor side there. It's as easy as finding a place to mount it, drilling your pilot holes, drilling in your mounting screw for each one. The important thing is to make sure that they're not interfering with anything else already installed on your AC unit. Make sure that none of your metal unprotected non-insulated contacts are touching anything metal. That would be very bad, it will cause some arcing and a fire. So that's the important part is to double check, maybe even triple check, like I'm about to do your wiring, just to make sure everything is tight 
and everything is not touching each other or anything else metal. I'll just do a double check on all my connections. Okay, and everything looks good. So the next step is to put your cover panel back on and then we'll test it out. And we've got our cover panel started. We'll go ahead and finish the screws on that. Now that I've reinstalled the cover panel, it's time to grab my fuse and to reinstall that so we can test it out and see how we did. Okay, fuse is back in. Now let's go fire it up and see how she did. Okay, and as you can see and hear, the compressor is running. It actually sounded way better firing up. It didn't sound like it was struggling or putting too much of a load on that compressor motor. So I think we've got it, folks. We've installed that hard start kit, that new capacitor, and all for under $100. Folks, hopefully you found value in this video and you were able to complete this project and save yourself a ton of money in the process. And if you enjoyed this video, watch this one right here. I think you're gonna love it. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel right here. It does something to the algorithm. It lets it push out to so many more people. I appreciate it and I will see you guys on the next one.